Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Open your leopard print pattern. Select File, then New. I'm going to make mine 2500 width by 2500 height by 300 resolution. I always unlock the background layer in the Layers tab. Drag and drop the PNG letters you wish to use. Press Enter after each one to lock in the pixels. If you are typing your own font, then after you are done, select Rasterize Type on your layer in the Layers tab. After you have all of your PNG letters ready, drag them out and arrange them how you want. Space them accurately. I like to create one layer for each word for easier movement and sizing. Go to the Layers tab. Since I arranged my letters in order for each word, I can click on the start letter or end of a word and hold shift while I click on the opposite end letter of that word. This will highlight all of the layers in between. I can now right click and select merge layers. If your letters got mixed up or you don't like this method, then make sure that the move tool is selected. Click on each letter individually while holding shift. When you are finished, go to the layers tab. Right click on the highlighted area and select merge layers. You can now move them and size them as you please. If you wish to resize them, then press Ctrl T and drag the size in or out. When you are done, select a word and type Ctrl J to create a duplicate layer. Do this to each word. Select the Magic Wand tool. Make sure that only the anti-alias is selected for its options. Select the top layer to the first word. On the top menu, go to Select, then Modify, and lastly Contract. Type in 20 pixels and then hit OK. Hit the Delete key. Repeat this process to each top layer for every word. Once you are finished, go to the Leopard Print Image. Select Edit and Define Pattern. Type in the name you wish to save this pattern as and hit OK. Go back to the letters. In the Layers tab, find a word and select the bottom full layer. Select the FX button and find Pattern Overlay. You can now find your newly saved image in the pattern section. Blend mode, normal, opacity 100%, leopard print design, size will vary, link with layer selected, then hit OK. Repeat this with each word. You can move the pattern around on the canvas to avoid any rough edges.
If you want a black letter outline, then you can skip this next step. To change the outline color, then click on the outline you wish to change in the Layers tab. Select the FX button and choose Color Overlay. Make sure that the blend mode is normal and the opacity is at 100%. Then select the color you want. Finally, hit OK. Repeat this process for each word outline. For your next step, you can use the black or colored outline. In the Layers tab, select the first top layer outline. Then select the FX button and bevel and emboss. Style, inner bevel. Technique, smooth. Depth, 532%. Direction, up. Size, 16 pixels. Soften, 0 pixels. Angle, 140 degrees. Use global light, 30 degrees. Diagonal slash, anti-aliased. Highlight mode, screen. Opacity, 64%. Shadow mode, screen. Opacity, 61%. Finally, hit OK. Repeat this with each letter outline. Now, in the Layers tab, select the bottom full layer to the first word. Then, select the FX button and choose Inner Shadow. Blend Mode, Normal. Opacity, 93%. Angle, 140 degrees. Use global light. Distance, 31 pixels. Choke, 3%. Size, 32 pixels. Contour, diagonal curved line. Noise, 0%. Finally, hit OK. Repeat this with each bottom layer. Select the zoom tool and zoom in. Some of the edges to the outline look a little rough. I'm going to smooth them out a little bit. There are two different ways to do this. The first option is to select the eraser tool. Make sure the layer you will be working on is selected. The eraser tool should be set to 12 pixels, 100% hardness and opacity. Go to the first edge and click where you want to start. Click on the endpoint while holding shift. This only works on straight edges. You can use a bigger pixel eraser to take care of the curves. But I like to use the blur tool. Select the blur tool. I set mine to 25 pixels and 100% opacity. Smooth out the edges. Try not to click on the center of the edge. It may smooth it out too much. Do this to each outline while making sure that the layer is selected in the Layers tab. Any mistakes made can easily be undone if you press Ctrl Z. Do this until you are satisfied. Now, let's add the background. Make sure that the bottom layer is selected. Drag and drop your background image onto your canvas. Drag the edges outward until it fills the canvas. Press Enter to lock it in. Please use coupon code LEOPARD2021 to get the PNG files used for free. The link to the product and written version are in the video details.